In this video, uh, we are going to learn about a new function in module called as reload. So sometimes a Python program imports a module part, but then the source code of the imported module needs to be changed. So since modules are executed only once when imported, so changing the module source does not immediately affect the running uh, for the running Python instance. Instead of restarting the entire Python program, the reload function can be used to reload and re-execute uh, the changed module. The reload function is um, located in, a, in the IMP um, standard library module. For, okay, how to use the reload function? Um, so I'm going to show you through this code over here. This is um, a module named as reload module. 5.py so while i try to execute it it doesn't execute because it needs to be imported so the import statement should be written in this way import then the module name reload module 5 okay so it's imported now I need to call the function in order to execute okay in order to execute it sorry about the error keyboard interrupt um then i'm going to call the function in this way the module name and the function name now uh, we can do also do it in this way as well bb equals to the module name dot function so the function will be now assigned to the local uh, variable bb and when you implement the statement in this way bb as a function it displays the same function contained now let's make a change uh, from happy let's make it sad save it and after saving when i call the function again it should print baby's sad right but still it's printing the old content of the test function why because it needs to reload the module here so here comes the reload function so before using the reload function what are you supposed to do you need to first import it here from import lib library uh, we need to import the reload module then once it's imported then we can implement the reload function on the module so this is the module name our current uh, module so if this kind of statement is displayed after executing the statement then it reloads the modules and uh, returns the statement that means the module is successfully uh, reloaded so after that let's try to implement the same test function and let's see what is it printing so the module name and the test function so now it's able to print the new test uh, function contained rather than baby is happy it's able to print the set right now and this is the way in which you need to import the reload module to uh, implement a reload function 